What's going on guys? Scar coming at you with another Magic the Gathering video. In today's video we're diving into a very interesting deck that I feel like you've all seen before. It is Boro Cycling, but I feel like with the rotation coming up, I feel like this is definitely going to be one of those budget decks. But in today's video, we're going to be doing something just a little bit differently. If you kind of are looking at the screen as I'm kind of talking right now, you can kind of see what's going on here. So what we're going to be doing is we're actually playing Boro Cycling with 12 lands in it total. Only 12 lands. And my idea here is I kind of got inspired from watching a CGB video. If you haven't seen CGB, he does very good top level magic. Definitely you should definitely check him out above me regardless. But he did a deck and he had 16 lands in it. And that was, is it like, uh, is it the is it aggro deck that is around? And I was like, what's another deck that you can draw into and how we can kind of take to play that deck with less lands. He did that deck with 16 lands and I was like, hmm. What can I do? How can I go above and beyond on that? So my idea here is today is to play this deck, borrow a cyclone and play 12 lands. And I think you could probably play less in this deck, but we're going to stay at 12 just because the only reason why I didn't go lower than 12 is all the, this is literally every single one drop cycler other than the, other than the Valiant Rescuer. Everything else in the deck is only a one like cost cycling. So that is the only reason why I didn't go any further, because other than that, then I have to start playing more and more two drop cyclers. And I think with that being said, it definitely makes it a little bit tougher because with us being very limited on mana, we definitely want more of the cheap cyclers. Just so even if we're limited on how many, how much mana we have in the battlefield, we, we kind of, you know, still can try to best utilize the amount of mana we have. So I, that's the reason why. So, I mean, overall, the list is pretty much everything you've seen before, you know, has all the, the typical cyclers, the flourishing foxes, the, the healers, the rescuers, you know, the, go, the the stingers, the go for the blood for the fight spell and the big finisher, which, of course, is Zinni the Flare. And the thing is, actually, surprisingly, from what I played of this deck, it actually this deck is OK. I wouldn't say it's the best deck currently in uh, 2021. That's just because right now, Adventures very, very prominent in the meta. And adventure, the adventure deck out there now has uh, the Fae of Wishes, and it can search its, you know, the sideboard for a Termat's Crypt or a graveyard removal spell, which is definitely hurtful for the deck because a lot of what this deck does is throw things in the graveyard, or when they die, it goes to the graveyard and whatnot. And we hit them with the big Zenith Flare, so that's definitely one of the harder decks to play against. But other than that, if we can kind of get like on curve and you know draw into our lands, this deck actually performs very, very well. And yes, a lot of the games I did test out, there were times where I got stuck on mana. And I kind of had to cycle into hopefully drawing a land, which definitely is a little bit rougher just because, you know, you want to hit lands and you kind of want to make sure you get to at least four mana just so you can get to your Zenith Flare and hopefully hit them hard as possible while also doing damage up along the way. So that's the other thing. So, but with that being said, the other thing too, before we dive into some games and kind of hopefully see how many games we can win, uh, I did, I was thinking about splashing in other colors, but because we're playing such limited mana, I just stuck with Boros just on the basis of we want to make sure we hit the white and we want to make sure we hit the red just because that's the colors we need for Zenith Flare. And I'm sure in like a normal situation, if you played a normal uh, cycling deck, you know, the normal Boros cycling deck, you could always splash in the blue for the just, you know, the for the for the blue cards. You can always splash in the black if you want to play, you know, the memory leak. But in this purpose, because we're very limited on mana, we decided to just go with the the white and the red. So with that being said, let's dive into some games, hopefully win some hope and just, you know, have some fun in the process. All right, so we're on the play. Um, we're going to mulligan because I would love two lanes. So this is actually not that bad. We can we can throw something in the deck, but I don't mind playing this and having. Uh, and having like stuff in our hand. A goose, a goose. All right, let's try to see if we can draw into a land. No, but this stinger is not bad. Maybe they're playing mono green. Maybe they're playing Sultai, Simic. Gain a life, that's fine. We'll follow. There's a Xena Flare. Do they block? They don't block with like two. Um, let's see if we can draw land. No. All right, I'll I'll see it. I'll I'll hit something at the end of their turn, just on the basis of, um, we still need a cycle. 
The other will follow Haven. Okay. Whatever taps are mana produces additional green. Yeah, so it creates a green and a colorless at the moment. I wonder what they're trying to ramp up into. That's the big question. Cultivate. That's fine. Are they playing other colors? Alright, so they're maybe an Ugin deck. They're ramping up into a big Ugin. But that's actually not that bad. Um, yeah, we'll get we'll play this. I mean we're gonna get close. That's the thing. We're gonna get we're gonna get close. Um We're gonna start getting to where we need to for uh Almost to Zenith Flare. There we go. White mana. And we'll actually play the Valiant Rescuers so we get a little wide on them in case they decide to get some things on the board. Um, and if next turn, for example, we can swing it very, very wide. All right, he's gonna fight. That's perfectly fine. And the thing is, we're actually not worried about that Kogla at this point. Um, it does have Trample, another land. What are our chances? Uh, yeah. It's like, eh, it doesn't trample. Uh, no cancel attacks, no attacks. We actually drew our land, which is great. I'm just really curious what their big, what their big card is. Garrick's Uprising, that's fine. Things have trample now. That, that Gilded Goose got that trample, you know, you gotta watch out for it. It's dangerous. That's fine. They have no way right now to gain life. That's their big thing. So there's no nothing for them to gain life. Um, let's cycle this. Hmm. We're one. We're one card. We're like one damage away. Now the question is, okay, they don't. They don't go for it. Interesting. We'll cycle again. We'll cycle again. Get as many draws before our draw. And there we go. Um, I can get, if I get one more cycler, not that one. Uh, no text entered. We're like on the cusp of winning just based on cycling. All right, another Garrick's Uprising, that's fine. You can draw all the cards you want. We're not dead this turn. Unless I got something to give them like super duper like damage. All right. Are they playing like the mono green starter deck with some like new cards? Interesting. Yeah, that's six. All right, pass the damage. And then they actually die right now. Because of, uh, that. Um, one mana hand. It's not great. We're gonna probably mulligan. I do have the Zenith Flare, and I have a lot of Cyclers. You know what? We have the draw. <laughs> Let's risk it. Gotta love the Shuffler. The Shuffler is ever in your favor. <laughs> now the question is, do they have counters in their deck? That's the big thing. If we're playing a deck that's blue and green and has counter spells. I did see that there's like a Simic deck that's going around. That's pretty interesting. So. That's fine. They're probably like thinking, what do I have that's a one mana like instant spell? Let's stick stick in. Uh let's just cycle the Vena the the Vantasar. Ooh, another land. Lands on demand. Let's get this out on the battlefield. Just on the basis of 
Every time I cycle, I'll stop pinging some damage, which is always good. They may be playing... Um, there's a Simic deck that's going around that... uh, That's quite decent. Um, so if they draw very well, they'll... Uh, they can outpace us, possibly, but I don't think they got counters, so that's the big thing. So, we can try to get wide here, which could be a good thing for us. All right, they play another arrow. That's that's perfectly fine because they gain five, but we can still swing back in for five next turn. They could have a bounce spell, so that's a thing. They're looking at their mana. They have three mana. Though the version I saw, they play uh, things that mill themselves to dump things. Uh, they're playing the that. That's fine. They're 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 protecting themselves, which is perfectly understandable. I think. All right, they're probably gonna block the three damage. I would assume. I'm gonna play a flourishing fox. We're just gonna get we're just gonna get wide. As much as this seems weird, I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna get big on them. Because then the flourishing fox is gonna start to get big. And then, you know, the Valiant Rescue will start producing tokens. They're gonna look for something. They're probably gonna look for a Tumid's Crypt, which is fine. But if I get wide enough, this may not be that effective for them. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. You can put it down now if you want to, dude. And, and get rid of my three cards in the graveyard. Sure. I mean, I'll start making creatures bigger and getting wide. That's all I'll do here. And they can do all they want now. I'm gonna take out a token, block that, and they're gonna let me cycle? Seems a little weird. get rid of that I mean they can they can time rise crypt whenever they want here if they do it now it's still fine because I still have cars to cycle they're probably waiting for me to play a zenith flare so that's like their big thing they have four cards in the graveyard all right that's fine they got four mana Three mana, okay. Sure. Um. Question is, do I cycle a flourishing fox or do I play another? If I can play another, uh, you know what? Maybe we cycle. I really could use a land drop. Like I could really use a land drop. I mean, I'm assuming they block here. Wow, they don't exchange. Interesting. Interesting. 
Interesting. I'm surprised they still haven't crypt. I have eight. My deck is all cycling land. I don't have many cards that aren't cycling cards. You have four. You still have four. You haven't dumped anything in the graveyard. All right, they're looking for something else now. An Uro. That's perfectly fine. Like, if he arrows here, I mean, it's, you know, bad news bears, but it is what it is. And you still can't attack your left strike beast. I'm very surprised he has encrypted. I'll boon here. Because we'll just make sure we do our damage and ping him in the face. I'm also keeping things in my hand, so it's like... I'm gonna assume they're gonna do the same. They're gonna block across the board. That's really fine. You can play your Ugin? No, you can't play your Ugin yet. Um, do I try for... I could- I should put them in a position that they should start, um... Doing stuff. But we'll end here, because... That's probably fine. But I will say this, they can they can Ugin for two and they can solve a Love Struck Beast. I don't understand. it's everything's two. You can hit me for one. Then you lose your fate of wishes. I'll let everything pass because I mean it's not a big deal. Oh, another land. I'm going to throw it out there. He's going to wait for me to use my spell. I'll let him minus if he wants to. He could always plus. But I think him minus is actually a lot better for us. Because then he's taking that down instead of pumping it up. Sure. I mean, at this point, there's probably a good chance that we probably are going to lose. Because, I mean, the only problem is we can't cast multiple Zenith Flares. I mean, I might as well make him pop it so that uh, he does something about it. Use your crap. There you go, good job. You realize I'm not a big dumb, right? I'll just fill my graveyard up again. And I'll just take a little bit of damage. Uh, auto pay.
All right, perfect. Um, next turn we can get hit for 13. That's fine. I'm going to assume you're going to play another Beanstalk Giant, because one would logic that you play a Beanstalk Giant. Alright, Aura's fine. I probably should have played Zenith Flare earlier and maybe make him crack it sooner. Math 3. I don't know what you're gonna do. What get something to gain some life? I don't I don't really know. You have another termite script? Counter spell? I only had seven mana. But I think I should have popped the teamer's crypt a little earlier. Alright, we're on the play. Um hmm. Do I risk it? Risk it. We really need to draw a land though, so we're gonna we're definitely gonna cycle here. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna cycle in response. I didn't draw land. <laughs> That's great. Land? Didn't draw land. Fudge. I mean, they're gonna hit me for three. I'm now laying down though. So there's a good chance I already lost. Though it does have trample, so that's not a bad thing. It's not a land. All right, let's just get out of this one. Uh, no. I guess I'll keep six and we'll throw this in it has two zenith flares so that's like what makes it good am i playing the same deck again this simic one we're gonna cycle sweet hopefully draw a land here that'd be really bad if we got another game in a row without a land Keeping their one card on top. That's not a land. Alright, so playing Adventure. We're probably playing the Simic Adventure deck. I'm just gonna throw it out there. It's more than likely that deck. Just because it's fairly popular nowadays. All right, I'll put this out and we'll say go. At least put a threat on the board so we can start swinging in face if they don't play anything. They can play Uro, gain three life. Another Clover, that's fine. So they can start bouncing things back on us. But they haven't really... Resolve all. All right. Ooh, a lot of white mana. That's fine. Oh, 
Oh man, now we just need a red mana. And then we're starting to look pretty decent. I mean, they have a Raisin Borrower though. Another Clover, okay. They have a land, I guess. I'm actually very surprised they didn't attempt to fight me on the... Oh. Sure. They're gonna try to mill me, which actually, if I get a red mana here, actually would probably hurt them if they put too many flares in the graveyard, because I already have two. There's a red mana. Crap. Alright, no red mana. That's perfectly fine. No, you don't attack. Red mana? Red mana. Ho ho! Woo! Man. Um. Wow. I think they messed up there. They got too aggressive. I'm assuming they're going to block. One would assume they would block here. At least we'll kill the wall. I get a 1 1. Uh, they're dead next turn unless they can gain some life. Alright, they got a borrower. Maybe? Maybe a reason borrower. They're, they're purposely tapping it this way. Alright, they're tapping four mana. Fae of Wishes. Interesting. I'm assuming they're getting the crypt. I'm gonna assume. That's perfectly fine. I mean, they have a. What I'm calling the fields. See, a part of me, I probably should have played that for 19 then last turn. Unsummon, awesome. And a row. Sure. Awesome. You do it. You should have let me cycled first, but okay. Because you realize uh, I just rebuild. Though it would have been nice to probably hit them in the face for 20. They're, they're actually far away from actually... Um... You gonna summon? I'm gonna make it dude. Just go ahead and do it already. Yeah, one turn. I can, I can double cycle, or I can cycle into combat. I'm surprised they haven't played an Uro though. You'd assume with the hand like that they play Uro. Oh, there, there we go. Speak of the devil. Look at that guy. You can block as many as you want into the Flourishing Fox. Two. 
Order of blockers. All into the fox. Interesting. I mean, I maybe will eventually get to the point where I have too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, it's a bunch of one fours. I mean, he's not going to tap out. That's the thing. I've drawn a lot of land, but I mean, I guess I only have 19 cards in my deck, so there's that. I want them to do a lot and see what they're going to do here. I mean, they're probably more than likely going to play a counter of some sort. I mean, at this point, you've already gone through at least uh, two thirds of your wish board. The other thing is, do they expect me to have just another three of my Zenith Flares all in my library? That's the real question. Because right now it looks like they only have the miscast in their hand. And if they don't have... Okay, they have a ram through? Sure. I'll pump out dudes. Uh, sure. Awesome. And that would take away your turn. You realize this, right? And asleep. Can't play all that this turn. Well, you could play the sleep. But if you play the sleep, then I could always Zenith Flare. It's fine. I, purpose I don't really... I'm not worried. Um, this would be the only other opportunity I really get to do this. That's three, five, eight. We'll see what they do here. I have another cycle in. They play, if they play Ugin, right? Then I'm just going to go ahead and hit face until they're dead. You'd assume they do something to prevent me from making more tokens because they draw all those cards to do ram throughs and stuff. They're analyzing their hand. They're thinking about Uro right now. I don't think there's a one blue source, actually. That's that's scary. That's fine. All right, they got a second blue source. That's fine. Okay, they got one less blue source. All right, they've gotten all the blue sources. Should probably get a blue source.
Your board's not wide enough at this current point. You have three blockers. There's nine here, plus two, plus three. You gotta, you gotta start eliminating my board or play more blockers. And just hope I don't have another Xena Flare in my hand. That's fine. All right, what's what's the big play here, guys? Get a brazen borrower because I I don't see it. That is uh that is a lot of damage coming through. All right, we get redemption against the Simic. All right, so I apologize that this deck is a little bit of a short one, but I figured it's a deck that you guys already seen some gameplay of, and I just kind of wanted to mess around and do kind of something a little bit fun. But I, I mean, granted, we got against two Simic decks for like the new 2021 uh, rotation thing. And I think the player who played the second deck is a little bit newer to the Simic deck, and I think they probably play, played it a little bit. They played it pretty good in the beginning, but I think they also kind of probably should have played it differently because I think by the point where they had board control, they may have should have played Ugin. But at the same time too, they didn't know I had multiple Zenith Flares in the hand. So I think they were trying to play around that. But overall, I mean, it still technically worked. I mean, there is a game that you're gonna see on here, of course, if you didn't see it, where I pretty much like draw draw one land and I'm like, oh, that's the game. Um, but yet again, I mean, the deck for the fact that having very, very cheap draw card spells, uh, essentially it can ramp into the lands that you need. So, I mean, I could, I could see if there was better cycling cards that also cost one. I could see this deck playing even less cards. I actually thought about playing this deck with only eight lands and seeing if I can manage to draw any lands with eight lands. Uh, but overall, it's fun. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. If there's another deck that you want me to mess around with and play with a very limited amount of man lands, let me know. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Definitely, This all definitely helps the channel out a lot, and I'll catch you in the next video.